It's a Thursday morning in August, Sherman Park in Milwaukee. Drills are underway, and Bubba Middick is at work. Bubba, a high school teacher, runs the program here for the Milwaukee Tennis and Education Foundation. He says he loves what he's seeing. I'm seeing positive uh, teamwork amongst the kids. I'm seeing more smiles in a day than I normally would. Um, definitely a lot of laughter, but also I think it's their, their skills that are developing. On this day and every day, he says he sees so many different lives and that this program is making those lives better. Because there are more issues than I ever imagined a 12-year-old could deal with. The beauty is, is that they have an adult that they can go to, they have a safe place that they can be, they also have um, skills that they learn and take back. It goes with them and it takes them just to this next step in their life. I see it happening every day, all the time. Yes, give me five. Good job. On the end court, kids are learning life lessons through tennis with a program called First Serve. The program teaches 10 life skills in all. This morning, staying positive. So, try to channel your energy and your anger and frustration into doing something that's positive. Like playing, playing sports, right? And you like reading. 14-year-old Rayana Henson says the lessons are sinking in. Because, you know, whenever you are, you know, negative about something, you usually get worse. Because, you know, you get mad or something and then you miss the ball. And, you know, staying positive is a good thing in tennis and in life. I think I've, like, grown up a lot since I started this because I've learned that, you know, tennis isn't just a game. It's life, basically, made into a game. Just outside the fence, a lesson of a different kind. Time for reading every day for every child. A short walk from the courts in the computer lab at the Mary Ryan Boys and Girls Club, it's time for financial literacy class. Today, the kids are learning to spend money on what they need not just on what they want. I bought school supplies and groceries and they were both me. Aurelia Butts is running today's class, one of several volunteers from Wells Fargo. We sometimes as parents don't teach kids because we're so used to giving, giving, giving. I just thought there has to be something out here that they can learn this before they actually leave and go on into their real world. Eighth grader Deja Jenkins is getting the message. It's two ways you can go with your money, and I would like to better myself with my money instead of spending it right away. So they've, te they've taught me how to do that. Larry Knox is also a volunteer instructor. While he's giving to the kids, he's getting plenty in return. The sense that I'm making a difference in somebody's life. When you see somebody two or three years down the line, and then they say, ooh, I got my bank account, <laughs> you know, and I know how to balance my checkbook. That's a good impact. I just feel like I've done something. I made an impact on, on my community. Good job, good job. After lunch, the courts are filled again. Joseph Jones is leading a drill group. Jones, a former college player, has taught tennis for 20 years. He's also a school teacher and administrator. He's here, he says, not just to teach tennis, but to build self-esteem. A lot of these students in the urban uh, community have low self-esteem and teaching them tennis gives them the opportunity to build some of that self-esteem. With tennis you can see growth. You see growth in small increments, in the small levels. And once you see this growth, it builds the students' confidence into being able to achieve something. Good job, give me five. Good job. Yeah, good job. All right. In the late afternoon, it's time for the grown-ups and the MTEF's expanded adult program. One of those taking part, Andrew Haynes. He also attends the Wells Fargo adult class on Saturday mornings. 
and is learning a lot about managing his finances. This class has been a real eye-opener opener for me. I definitely am going to pay more attention to what I'm doing. But for Andrew, it's really about the tennis. I love tennis. I'm 70 years old and I've decided to improve my game so I can win more. And I feel that I can win more if I can get a strong two-handed backhand. Tennis is a life, a lifetime sport. And I get such a kick out of beating the young guys. <laughs> So as Andrew works on his backhand, the day nears its end. On this Thursday, the Milwaukee Tennis and Education Foundation helped change the world of the people it touched, the kids and adults learning the game, and those teaching it, the students learning life skills, and those sharing their knowledge. And tomorrow, the MTEF will do it all again. The